All right, so here you can see now we are able to animate our entire uh, Flutter logo here. Now, if I simply change the value here, let's say 0.2 or 0.7 the value will be changing so in this video i'll be showing to you how you can perform slide transition that is slide transition animation in flutter right so right now here you can see i have got a normal uh project here of flutter animations guide and my emulator up and ready now first of all what i'll do i'll simply go into my pospay.yaml file and get one dependency which is provider itself all right so once we have got our uh, dependency up and ready we are good to go so in my folder structure here you can see i have got nothing with the library so here I'll be creating a new folder of notifier, all the notifiers that are under our application. So here I'll be creating our first notifier. So here let's say slide transition dot dart, right? So here you can see I've got my first notifier here. Now I'll be using the following notifier class to update all of my widgets with the help of provider state management, right? So here what I'll do, I'll create a new class. Let's say slide transition notifier, right? This thing will be executing a change notifier. Uh, abstract class just like this now here once we have got our change notifier we can update all of our transitions but before that what i'll do here instead of returning a placeholder i'll be simply returning here a change notifier provider all right so let's take some context and simply return here our slide transition notifier just like that now also our following change notifier provider will be requiring a child so let's go here and add a child here Right, so here I'll be creating a new stateless widget. So let's call this stateless widget Alava, just like this, and paste this thing here. Right, let's make it constant, just like that. Right, so here our Lava will be returning nothing but a material application, the busy uh, easy stuff. So here let's have our home for our uh, material app. For now, let's have a scaffold, and let's uncheck the banner of debug mode. Right, so let's try to run the entire application here. So what I'll do. Uh, once we have got everything up and ready, I'll simply press Ctrl and F5 to render our entire application over to our emulator. Now I'll be starting this series from scratch, so you can simply fast forward the video to your favorite position, anything you want. Right, so let's wait for it. Alright, so now you can see our application is up and ready, and now we are good to go. So uh, instead of returning here as a home to be a scaffold, what I'll do, I'll be creating here a new folder for all the views. Right, so here let's say our first transition so here let's say or I'm, why i'm writing slider bro like tra slide transition dot view dot dart just like this now once we have got this let's create a new stateless widget here so slide transition view just like this so i'll copy the name and i'll simply paste it here let's import it here right so this is good to go we are getting our placeholder here no issue with that so let's return here our scaffold Right, so the first thing that I'll be doing here to create a slide transition is I'll be removing the stateless widget and convert that into a stateful widget. Right, so press Ctrl and F5, just like that. And here for our uh, scaffold, let's have a background color. So here, uh, let's have a background color of colors dot black. Uh, let's have some opacity here of 0.6. Now I won't be focusing more on UI because our entire job is to show you the entire animation. Right, so now this thing is done. Uh, the first of the first step that I'll be doing here in order to create a slide transition is go at the top and instantiate a new animation controller. Right now, what is the animation controller? Animation controller will be providing us some utilities that will be helping us in changing the widget or changing the object's position or also the scale or also the speed, opacity, etc. and etc. Right. So here what I'll do, I'll be creating a final instance of animation controller. Let's call it animation controller for now and the value of it will be an animation controllers class right now here you can see we'll be requiring this property of vsync now if you hover over it it will be nothing but a ticker provider right now the ticker provider will be requiring a value but in order to provide the value we need to extend that is we need to also extend the following sign transition with a new abstract class now here i'll be simply providing here a width operator that is a decorator and i'll simply add here a single ticker provider state makes in just like this now here if you hover over it this following class will be providing us a mix in that will be helping us in enabling the animation over to the entire class of slide transition view now here in the vsync i'll simply write this now here i'll simply write here a late operator so we the following operation that is the following error of the v this is not reference will be gone 
because the following animation controller will be instantiated as soon as we render up the following slide transition view. For example, if I remove the let operator, the following reference to this is invalid because the following thing is not instantiated yet. So what I'm telling the entire line is I'll be doing it late. That is, I will be instantiating the following animation controller later. Now, once I have done this, what I can do, I can play with my animation controller. For example, here I can simply add a duration. So here, let's add a duration here. So I'll say a duration and we can add any sort of duration. Let's say seconds of two, just like that. Now duration will be constant value. So let's provide a constant operator here. Now, once this thing is done, what we need to do is we can simply play with our entire animation controller with the double dot operator. For example, if I say double dot, I can say repeat the entire animation, reverse the entire animation, reset the animation and so and so. But for now, I'll be simply repeating the entire animation. So I'll simply write here repeat. Now, once this, this, this thing is done, we are good to go. Now, after this, as we are initiating our entire animation controller with the repeat operator, we don't need to initi initialize that. So here I'll be simply using a dispose function to simply dispose my entire animation controller. So here, let's say animation controller dot dispose, just like that. Now, when this thing is done, we are good to go. What I can really do is I can go in my built context here. That is a built entire function and I can play some values right here. For example, in order to create a slight transition, we need to play with the offset of the particular widget. Now, what is offset? Consider offset as a value of point A to point B in multiple dimensions. That is X and Y. Right. Now, let me show to you how to do that. So, in order to do that, what I'll do, I'll simply create here a new final variable of offset. So, let's uh, use the class of offset. And here, in the following offset, I'll be giving it a type here. Now, here, let's say a new animation and here an offset. Right. So what does this will do? This following line will be helping us that the following on animation that will be held, uh, performed here will be in the context of the offset. That is the dimensions and positions of a particular object. Right. So here I'll simply say, let's say an offset animation and the following value will be requiring us a twin builder. Now, what is a twin? I'll simply show to you in, instead of in, explaining into words. Right. So here, let's say a twin and here let's add the offset itself. Right now here, the twin animation will be requiring certain values. But here you can see the following variable cannot be assigned here. So let's provide here a late function. Now when this thing is done, what we have to do here, if you see the error, the value of offset animation cannot be provided to the value of animation offset. Right. So what I'll do here, I'll simply make it animate here. Right, I'll say I'm animating the entire thing and just like that. Now here, as per the animation, what I can do, I can add a curved animation, right? So let's say a curved animation. Now we'll be requiring a parent and a curve here. Now what I'll do, in order to provide a parent, we can use our class, that is the following value of animation controller, right? So I can copy this and paste it here. And as per the curves, I can provide here any type of curve. So let's say curve.linear. You can play around with curves as much as you want. Right now here, under the twin offset, I can say, I need to provide here an offset, right? So here I need to add a following value of begin and an end, just like that. Now the following value of begin and end will be requiring two different uh, offsets. So here I can simply provide here an offset. Now here you can see the offset will be requiring nothing but a dimensions of dx and dy, right? So what I'll do, initially I'll say the offset of dx will be zero and offset of dy will be zero for the begin one. So I'll simply say a constant of offset of this. Now as for the end, what I'll do, I'll simply change the offset for 0 0.3, that is 0 0.4 and 0 0.8. Let's make it constant for now, right? So here we can see we have got our offset animation, right? So once that thing is done, now we have initiated everything that we, we are required, right? So now what I'll do, I'll be using the flutter logo for the animation itself, right? So let's play with that. Now in order to do that, what we need to do, we need to create a new body for our scaffold, right? So here in our body, let's have a center uh, widget here. And under center, what I'll do, I'll be using the slide transition widget, right? Now here, you can see we'll be requiring a bunch of parameters. For example, the position, the test direction, etc. and etc. right? But here, first of all, let's simply add a position here. And for the position, what I can do, I can simply use the offset animation position, right? Let's have a new name here. 
of offset animation position right so let's copy that and paste it here after that we'll be requiring a child for our slide transition so for child i'll be simply using flutter logo right now you can play with the size and style etc and etc i won't be doing that right so i simply say the constant value of flutter logo press ctrl and s now you can see the following object is automatically moving right now so what i'll do i'll simply say a size of let's say 20 okay somewhat bigger 60 or 100 or 200 <laughs> just like that all right so here you can see now we are able to animate our entire uh, flutter logo here now if i simply change the value here let's say 0 0.2 or 0 0.7 the value will be changing now if you look closely if i make it zero it will be starting from the center right and if i say minus one minus one it will be starting from entire like it will be going in opposite direction right now if i say here uh, 0 0.2 and here if i say 1 0 1.2 it will be going more below here right now you can play with it as much as you want because the entire thing is depending on you right for now if i say simply 0 0.1 it will be slightly moving if i say minus 0 0.1 it will be going at the top right now this is how you will be able to initiate the animation entire entire flutter application with the help of default widgets now i want to keep all of this video short and sweet so this was all for today's video the basics of the animation in the next video we will be learning more about different type of animations that is the fade transition side transition scale transition etc and etc so make sure you hit the like button on this video and i'll see you in the next video.